Hey Cancer, how's it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. So this is your reading from July 1st, the 16th. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Such a beautiful day out there. So I hope you guys can get out there and enjoy that sun. With that, your reading looks fantastic for um, July, for the beginning of July, middle of July, however it works. Um, yeah. Okay. So your Oracle card to start off your reading, I'm trying to get comfortable here, says, how much good can you handle? Explore the upward spiral of grace. And this is what it says. How much good can you handle? How much love can you take? How much good can you endure before your fortress breaks? Message. When blessings come in, stop holding your breath, awaiting the other shoe to drop. You no longer need to feel that you're begging gifts from the universe. May your prayer not be for more, but that you have the eyes to see that what you've always wanted is what you've always had. Perhaps you thought it was cute to be coy and self in facing when giving a compliment and acknowledgement or appreciation it is time to open your heart breathe deeply and receive blessings knowing it is not just just about or for you with every gift you receive you can get back to life it is an energy and exchange a per 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 spiral of appreciation that leads to more to appreciate the spiral circulates upwards, escalating you into higher realms of consciousness. Instead of questioning what you did to deserve all the goodness, pray to become more aware of it and receptive to the blessings in your life. Dream symbol, gift. Dreams of a gift are an affirmation that you are on the right track. Consider what the gift is and what, what it symbolizes in your waking life. Giving the gift denotes a desire to have your gifts, a.k.a. talents, appreciated. If you are the recipient of the gift, the dream might be litmus test for your current level of receptiveness in light of the blessings the universe has in store for you. So what I feel for what I feel this is saying, guys, is that you're just in this place where you kind of have to be grateful for what you have at this moment. I don't know what you guys have going on, but I do know like with the cards in front of me, it looks like you guys are facing lots of choices right now, lots of decisions, deciding what is it that you guys want out of life. So I feel like what it is, is that realize that, you know, you're, you're human and you can only handle so much. I don't know who that's for, but I feel like if you were going through circumstances, if you're going through a situation and you feel like you're giving your all and you're not getting anything out of it, it's time to rethink, are you giving your energy, your time, um, to the right kind of people in your life at the moment. All right. So with that, we're going to start off with the reading with the nine of wands. So I feel like what the nine of wands is saying for you guys is you're in this place where you're ready to take the step to go through into something better. I feel like you're ready to say, you know what? I have to change something in my life. And in order for me to change something into my life with my life, I have to move through some obstacles, through some challenges. And I feel like you are facing some challenges right now. You are facing some choices. You are facing this. I feel like it's more inner. Okay. I feel like you are facing something within yourself. Maybe you're second guessing yourself and that could be it. Maybe you're saying, you know what? I really can't do this. No, maybe you're on some type of weight loss journey. You're on some type of um, spiritual journey or, you know, it could be as simply as simple as, you know, you're starting in a relationship or you're starting a new job and you're kind of doubting, you know, is this job or is this relationship, like, am I ready for it? And I think what spirit is saying, I'm like, at this time, perseverance, 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 I can't say that word. Um, that's going to be key for you guys at the moment. All right. Sometimes we get so caught up in life. Sometimes we get so caught up in, you know, everything else around us that we don't have that time cancer to take that time for ourselves. And I feel like right now where you guys are, at least for the first half of July, spirit saying there is nothing wrong with going into hermit mode. Hermit mode does not mean you have to stop completely talking to everyone. You can, um, 
for a couple of days, however long you feel like you need to. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's more of going within yourself and really finding out what it is that you guys want. Because I feel like that is what you guys want. I feel like it's really going within you, really asking yourself, okay, I've been manifesting. I've been overthinking. I've been overanalyzing. I've been thinking about what it is that I want. But the answers aren't coming through for me. Or um, I just feel like you're in this place where it's like really needing to come come here. Really needing to go into like a meditation state where it's like you completely cut everything out. You completely zone everyone out just for a second for you to ground yourself and refocus yourself. Because I feel like that's what's been missing with a lot of you is like, you really need to look within the answers for yourself. You really need to find the light within yourself because it's also about happiness, guys. You can't look for someone else to give you that happiness. You have to look for happiness and love within yourself first before you try to find that somewhere else. And that's what I'm feeling for some of you is that, you know, you just may need a second. You would just may need, uh, may need to have a timeout, you know, and there's nothing wrong with that. I feel like with the serenoids coming out for you guys reading, I feel like this is talking about awakening. Some of you could be going through awakening. Some of you could be, you know, just feeling a lot of passion for somebody. And that that's awesome. That's awesome to have passion. But don't forget that your true happiness, your true love needs to come from within you. All right. A lot of you could be focusing on like material things and like what everyone else has and what you don't have. And that could be leaving you in a state of feeling like you're not good enough or feeling like you're never going to have what everyone else is like, what everyone else has in spirit saying, well, why do you want to have what everyone else has? You should be grateful for what you have in your life right now, because there's someone looking at you that wishes they had what you had. Okay. It's kind of interesting with this card coming up because I feel like someone is sleepwalking through life. You know, they're just kind of mellow sleepwalking. Like they're just, they're not really engaging. They're just sleepwalking. Like you just have like this straight line and you're just walking down towards it. That's what I feel like. Um, just be careful of the devil. Be careful of those negative thoughts that, that linger. All right. Like be careful of feeling like. You're not good enough to have the love you know you deserve, or you're not good enough to have that job, or you're not good enough to have that home, or you're not good enough to have that car. You know, use this time in July as a way to reground yourself and refocus and really look deep within yourself and ask yourself, you know, what is of my highest good? What do I need at this time? All right. You, you need to get rid of a lot of things that are decluttering your life with the seven of pentacles. You need to cut ties with people for sure. If, if you've got people around in your environment, guys, and you know that these people are toxic, you know, these people are manipulators, you know, these people only come around when they want something for you. Spirit saying you're in this place now where you got to manifest getting rid of these people. You know, if not, if someone's not giving you what you need, if someone's not providing you with something towards your highest good, when someone's not bringing you up, they're morally tearing you down. That, that has to be a boundary for you. And that's what I feel like kind of for cancer is that you need to set some healthy boundaries because the people and the places and the things that you're holding on to, that is why you guys feel like you want to give up for some of you, not all of you, but it's about taking control of your life at the moment, cancer, because you have the wishes you you're sitting here with the seven of cups right now. You're sitting here thinking about, you know, how can I move from this? You know, I'm looking at all of these cups that fell apart, whether it's a relationship, whether it's a job, whether it's a friendship, whether it's your children, whether it's whatever the case may be. And you're sitting here and you're thinking about, you know, all these things that have fallen apart. And you're questioning it and you're questioning spirit and you're questioning the universe and you're asking them, well, how come I've been put through all of these different life lessons and I'm still going through them and I don't have my happy ever after and I don't have what I need. And spirit saying, well, you do have what you need. You just haven't really opened. I kind of feel like you just haven't opened your ID to it. Like you haven't opened your, um, 
mind because you're too busy thinking about what is it all that you don't have versus what you do have. So you guys need to remain open at this time. This is a manifestation period for a lot of you. You know, Spirit's saying, I put you on a new beginning. I put you on a new path because I want to see you strive. I want to see you be successful. I want to see you create the future that you want. But if you keep feeling like you're not worthy of it, then that's that negative energy you're bringing back towards you. You know, this is all about a new job. This is all about a new career right now with this Eight of Pentacles. That's what I feel like. You may have come across a chance to go to a completely different direction when it comes to your career. And it's like spirits giving you that option. And are you going to take it? Or are you going to be afraid that you're not good enough for it? You got to be ready to fight. You got to be ready to defend. You guys are on the beginning of a new adventure, a new relationship as well, Cancer. But at this time, you got to listen to your gut. You got to listen to your intuition, your dreams, high priced. Has it been hard? Yeah. Ten pentacles. Have you been stressed out? Hell yeah. Have you been worried? Oh yeah. I can see it on the cards. But are you going to be okay? Two of cups. You're going to find the love that you guys want. So I feel like if you're sitting there and you're thinking that love's never going to come to you, I feel like love's coming cancer. But I feel like at this very moment, what you need to be doing is grounding, staying focused, staying true to who you are not giving up and going back to the drawing board and really asking yourself, you know, what, what is it that I want? That's what I keep hearing for cancer. It's what is it that I want and how, how can I get it? All right. So with that, your Oracle card to end this reading says external union, new love is forming. In a lifetime, we are destined to meet many members of our soul group and soul family. Many of them enter through life as a soulmate fitted to teach us lessons about unconditional love and ourselves. A soulmate can be a friend, family member, work colleague, partner, neighbor, or someone you strongly disagree with, clashing with every time you are around each other. When a soulmate enters your life, they offer your soul support, guidance, and growth, whether physically, emotionally, or spiritually. You may feel you have known them forever. You may be instant, instantly comfortable in their presence. Dependent upon what your soul needs, a soulmate may be a brief encounter or this relationship could last a lifetime. Acting as a catalyst for growth, these souls are here to teach you something new. Currently meeting new people will bring great conversations. Interesting people will enter your life now to teach you something valuable about yourself and your interests or passions in life. Social gatherings and casual meetups will create opportunities for meaningful connections. Right now, you are being encouraged to actively listen to others for those who you despise or see as enemies. View these people as possible soul connections. They are there to teach you life lessons and challenge your structural belief systems. This new understanding will deepen the love you have for others, including new and existing partnerships, opening doors for an expression of external union. This living expression of love will influence romantic connections, including marriage with long-term commitments, possibly now. The expression of external union between two souls will bring new levels of love on and Emotional, physical, mental, and spiritual connection. True love is limitless. So I do see love coming, Cancer. I, I definitely do see love coming. And I, I feel like love is here for you guys. I feel like if you don't know this person yet, you will know this person in July. Or this person will enter your life in July. All right? So I'm going to leave it there, Cancer. I hope you guys have a fantastic first half of July. Let me know how it resonates. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button if you are yet subscribed to my channel. No, I'm sending guys all love and light, and I will see you the second half of July. Take care.